der Getten Cursed by Nature Spirits, der da commonly referred in Folklore as Gnomes, Unicorns, Fairies, Fae, and the Mantles, Dragons, and others, uh, it's, that's no joke. I mean, time is different on the astral plane and the higher dimensions, and uh, so their wrath can follow us through many lifetimes. These types of trauma, you know, to tip it off now, they're often instigated in power points, you know, on the earth where ley lines cross to pollute the chi flow um, of the earth mother Gaia. So also many of us were scientists in Atlantis or incarnated even from star races and then the expertise it was used for large scale, uh, scale destruction. I mean, knowledge this was given was then used for earthquake weapons to create artificial tsunamis, viruses. Hello and welcome to my channel, Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang. And I'm Wolfgang. And Wolfgang, is a hypnotist uh, that also uses life force and other unique techniques, right? And uh, so this guided meditation is a gift for Mother Gaia, for Mother Earth. Of course, you will greatly benefit from clearing your karma with Gaia and her beloved nature beings. So in the following guided Gaia healing meditation, we will clear as much dark energy from Gaia as possible, especially the astral pollution that we and our ancestors created in past lifetimes, when we also had um, advanced technologies, especially in Atlantean uh, past lifetimes. So uh, your life will take a turn for the better in terms of abundance, prosperity, love, and less obstacles in your life path. <laughs> so in, in my line of work, I really focus on clearing as many obstacles towards ascension as possible. And I'm looking for the dirt, so to say, and find that uh, many of these um, beings, of these nature beings, mm, still take revenge on us, even after thousands of years. And uh, getting cursed by nature spirits that are commonly referred in folklore as gnomes, unicorns, fairies, fae, and the mantles, dragons, and others, uh, it's, that's no joke. I mean, time is different on the astral plane and the higher dimensions, and uh, so their wrath can follow us through many lifetimes. And the bad news is that we are implicated in the sins of our father, to be biblical here, and our forefathers, or should we say, our ancestors, right? because uh, that is more accurate. You know, curses tend to travel along the blood lines, it seems. And um, this is not book learning, <laughs> this is direct experience you know, from past life regressions, you know, seeing where the trouble came from. So the good news is that we can speak and apologize for our own past life, deeds and karma, as well as that of our ancestors. We can also speak for our tribe and um, sometimes for our race, uh, you know, especially when, of course, we have to be incarnated when the offenses were committed. And of, you know, of course, we will take advantage of this. So in my experiences, curses and revenge can affect all descendants throughout the timeline. You know, even if you were not personally involved and even from a past lifetime. I mean, you may think it's unjust, but you know, that's just it at the time. So, <clears throat> We will get into more details in the guided meditation 
but just let me explain some concepts or principles that may help you understand the meditation from a higher point of view. And be warned, uh, this is dark stuff. You know, before if you can get airy, fairy, uh, and lovey dovey. You know, I'm all for that. <laughs> it's going to be dark first. <laughs> like, you know, cutting down forest and destroying the habitat of nature beings. You know, that's generally one of the big things. And then um, polluting the land and waters. So I've seen this in past large regressions where armies just in Greece, you know, they moved in. They threw dead donkeys into the wells or poisoned the wells and cut the olive trees down. And, um, you know, olive tree takes 80 years for we to regrow before it can bear fruit. You know, so this is like three, four generations that do not have olives. Then, and then, of course, all the women were abused. So, um, yeah, so that's <laughs> bad karma, not just being cursed by the family members, but also by the nature beings that, you know, lived in those areas. And the another big thing is that, um, you know, we humans create portals through the accumulation of pain, now, whether it's from hospitals or slaughterhouses or from torture or huge battles. And um, sometimes in the past lifetimes in Atlantis, um, people used earthquake weapons or viruses, designed viruses. Um, sounds familiar, right? Um, but, uh, you know, I'm coming across this in my past life with people. And, um, you know, black magic rituals, of course, you know, and dark sacrifices. So not just humans, animals, nature beings, um, you know, anything kind of gets sacrificed or bound into services. So these types of trauma, you know, to tip it off now, they're often instigated in PowerPoints, you know, on the earth where ley lines cross to pollute the chi flow um, of the earth mother Gaia. And there is heavy karma with this if we or our ancestors were involved in this. But again, we can ask for forgiveness and clear this and help Gaia, help Mother Gaia, do the earth healing. And uh, yeah, so um, doing this uh, dark magic or creating, you know, pain in power spot is like similar to throwing a dead rat into your drinking water well. Mm -hmm. And so. Why should you do this meditation? Right. Um, you don't, you know, you probably lived an okay life. You probably didn't cut any forests <laughs> down. Yeah. Uh, but most likely in past lifetimes, you or your ancestors were involved in these kinds of nefarious activities. And many of us have been kings and queens, military leader, warlocks, witches, priests, sorcerers, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> you know, nothing big to be a king or a queen um, happens all the time in past lifetimes. The th sad thing is, many times it does not end well, at least the stuff that I'm seeing. And of course, I'm not going to get called in to clear the boring stuff, right? So, uh, but uh, kings and queens accumulate karma and enemies really fast. It's a hot seat. So also many of us were scientists in Atlantis or incarnated even from star races. And then the expertise was used for large scale, uh, scale destruction. I mean, knowledge this was given was then used for earthquake weapons to um, create artificial tsunamis, viruses, um, poisons, or um, black magic in, in general. Um, you know, humans <laughs> abuse everything, <laughs> it looks like. And uh, I know it, it sounds like, you know, uh, a, a fantasy novel. But, um, you know, I, again, I go where the deep trauma of my clients is, and that way it's lead me. So we go deeper. And 
from a philosophical point of view. So in this world uh, of duality right now, um, we um, walk on the light side and we also walk on the dark side. That's just part of our soul growth. And in the reality, there's also much more a combination of the shades of gray. I mean, nobody is all good and nobody is all bad. And a lot, of course, um, depends on the perspective that you're having. Like, so most people, and I don't want to guilt trip anybody, but I, I'm giving an example. So most people think that um, it's a right thing, to, for instance, to kill that humans you eat animals, and uh, because they're just not as smart as us, right? This gives us the right, you know, the God-given right. So, mm -hmm. And so that slaughterhouses are of course okay, and but then when you have extermination camps uh, for humans, that's also not okay, you know. Or let's say when reptilian races that are in intelligence superior to humans want to eat us, that then also we think is unjustified. But in reality, this is a double standard. N another point to consider <laughs> is that the races that are in service to self, that are selfish, uh, like to force incarnate higher dimensional divine souls into their demoniac bodies and cultures, and then they load us up with bad karma through their brainwashing and uh, participation in their culture. So, let me just say this again. <clears throat> um, even when you are a light being, and let's say, you know, you are here on Earth incarnated, and they can catch your subtle body, and the technology exists, and many times they have force incarnated us into their species. So suddenly you are a draconian, an alpha draconian, or you are a Ryan person. You have that kind of body. You're brought up in this kind of culture and brainwashing with their perspective. And, and of course you do things that alpha draconian or that these dark cultures do then create a lot of karma, which, of course, you know, brings your frequency down. Very important point. You did not volunteer for this kind of stuff. So it's like uh, you get kidnapped, you get, <laughs> your mind gets wiped, and then you uh, are trained to do horrible things. You don't know any better. You know, very similar to that. So how much can be held responsible for this? So the good thing is that these dark secrets are finally getting revealed and we can get the assistance of the most divine forces. That is the good point, otherwise we really screw. <laughs> so um, before we get into the meditation, I'll quickly um, you know, reward my time that I'm spending in here, my expertise that I'm giving away is you know, clicking the thumbs up and then maybe later on you know, giving me a review, you know. Um, um, leave some favor to Marx, talk to your tribe. <clears throat> so now, close your eyes. And yeah, uh, make sure you're not driving if you listen to the podcast. Um, it's going to be extremely dangerous. I mean, really, <laughs> you're going to get so spaced out, it is better not to drive. Absolutely not. This is worse than alcohol or drugs here. You're going to get so spaced out. Mm -hmm. uh, so just close your eyes and unstack your spine nicely so you don't have to use any muscles to keep it straight. I mean, if you're a good yogi, do the Sufi grind. Just um, sway around or have your back you know, propped up against an office chair. That is generally very good. Um, some of you want to lay down. You can get you know, deeper layers of um, relaxation that way. But then also um, you might just pass out, go unconscious. And for someone you, you know, this is a good thing. <laughs> you want to go to sleep. Um, and it's going to be uh, better uh, going to sleep with this than not doing it at all. All right. So, close your eyes, and uh, when I say Amen, you just have to agree to this, so just think Amen. Uh, you don't have to repeat the whole thing. 
right? It's not necessarily the angelic beings or the higher dimensionals, they all understand me very clearly. Okay, so first of all, we asked absolute source of everything and all the divine beings of love and light to make sure that everything that comes in and from this guided meditation here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. You do it, really mean it. This is your intent. We also asked that we use our time and energy here in the most effective, efficient way, clearing as much karma and offenses from ourselves, from our past lifetimes, from our ancestors, and maybe even our races from Mother Gaia, from the Earth Mother. We want to have an honest, clear clearing of all the trauma and damage that we created here. And um, we ask that <coughs> we get all the help for this. So that we get proper information that the service to self side, the dark hearts, cannot manipulate us or our minds, they cannot attack us or observe and study us or take revenge on us in any way. We want to be completely protected as well as camouflaged from their observation. We ask that we have a great time doing this. You know, it's just going to be very joyful and loving for us and integrate um, in the easiest and most uh, benevolent way with us. And so complete protection and best guidance and best results, please. Amen. Um, um, make sure you agree here and smile. And now with a smile, draw the love from Mother Earth into your heart. So you just flow it over your legs or also your root chakra into your heart, really strong and deep. And then on the exhale, you just let your love flow back into it. Smile and breathe all the way in. Deep breathing. And the reason is you want to clear the filters, most likely the clock filters in your root chakra and in your foot chakras. And we ask the spirit guides the angelic forces of love and light to clear any resistance and obstacles in that are in our path, in our connection with the earth goddess, as well as our own high self and divine guidance now. Amen, amen, amen. Give permission, but keep on breathing. I have to talk. <laughs> you got to breathe. <laughs> mm hmm Ah, uh, yeah, this should kick in now. It takes about four to five seconds for the intent to kick in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can feel it now. So you may most likely feel tingling, especially in the back, but now also, of course, in your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. And just keep on in exchanging love with the Earth Goddess. And now we ask the split guides to clear from us any uh, hostile energies that have been projected onto us from, let's say, colleagues, you know, family members, traffic, anger, gossip, jealousy, you know, um, whatever, you know, was sent to us with negative intent, please clear now, amen, and of course, when we did this to others, clear this too, amen, amen, um, and that should be kicking in now, yeah. And just keep on smiling and deep breathing, you know, running love with the Earth Goddess. And wherever you get in a buzz or tingling, that is a good omen. This means your energy body is updating. Fantastic. And now put the tongue to the top of your roof mouth, to the palate. Mm -hmm. And pull as much love from the earth goddess into your heart. 
and on the axle centered into your brain out the top of the head all the way to the ceiling. So pull up and push out and use your breath like a leaf blower. You just want to clear this passageway, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. then you go, you get in the bus here, maybe somehow you get slightly dizzy, just hang in there. I said the don't drive. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now your crown chakra is opening, and you ask the angel, angelic beings um, of love and light, and our spirit guides to just clear again as much resistance as a junk that has accumulated there, even any hostile technologies. Please screen those out. Amen, amen, amen. And take any perpetrators that use technologies to keep our vibration down. Let's take them to the highest courts of spiritual justice too. We do not consent to this. Um, 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 mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four. That's ah, kicking in now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And we ask the spirit guides to pour a lot of love unto us from the heavens. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now start inhaling this. And then send you appreciation up. In and out. In and out. Hmm? Now, yeah, your crown chakra should be opening. Yeah, unclogging those filters there. Good. And now it's time to um, pull in the love from heaven and earth simultaneously into your heart. It's really important that we get a nice balance from both types of energies, the inspiration and the worldliness. Pull it in and then expand this aura of love around your heart. So in and then heart bigger. In and then bigger. And in and bigger. Mm -hmm. Good, a nice mix. And most of the humans be really happy, you know, when they maintain this kind of a focus in the heart. Mm -hmm. When it gets warm now or radiant, that's exactly what we're looking for. It makes you a good Christian, makes you a good Muslim. You know, it puts you in love and you're focused and you're connected to the heavens. And you're also connected to the earth, you're not a materialist, you're not a space case. You know, you walk in balance. Even Taoist would be you're not there. <laughs> so um, now, um, as you know, you're having this nice balance here, you ask that uh, your high self, that this divine aspect of your soul, just descend into your body. Mm -hmm. It's a sensation of some of you feel lighter, some of you feel taller in your shoulders, some may actually, you know, feel more luminous as such. So let's ask for your high self to just start manifesting in your body. Um, and okay. Yeah, um, for most of you, you probably feel taller in your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And to let your high self adjust your spine a little bit, so um, they have a higher standard as such. Okay. And now, um, we ask that 
GB given, uh, yes, and this is generally a flow of love from the heart to the head, so just be neutral, it would feel like this. I do it one more time, it would feel like this. A kind of an upwardy feeling. Now ask your high self to give you a clean, loud yes. Amen. And if that wasn't strong enough, let's ask again. And now we want it a lot stronger than before. Please give us a clean, loud yes. Now, Amen. Okay, probably the headphones should have been flowing off. Now let's give us a nice. I'm going to show you how a no feels. That's basically from the heart to the feet. So that will be like a downer, something like this. I do it one more time. That may be a downer, something like that. All right, now ask your high self to give you a clean no now. Amen. And uh, if you couldn't get that, let's ask the high self to make it a lot stronger and to give you an even stronger no now. Amen. So called knock the socks off. Amen. Excellent. If it doesn't work for you, try the pendulum video. And this can help you a lot too. Or just go along. And mostly, in my experience, we or the ancestors did pretty much all the dark stuff. And I mean, I've been around for a long time, so I've done it all. Uh, unfortunately, it's um, embarrassing when you see this, when you realize this. Um, so you're probably not wasting your time and when uh, you know you release it and ask for forgiveness and it becomes lighter you know that is definitely a sign that there was some stuff before then so most likely you're not wasting your time doing this video mm -hmm. okay and now we also asked our ascension teams to you know when we like when we be working here um, to uh, please um, bring the presence of expert ascending teams that work for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And also to please bring any stuck spirits or ghosts as they're being invoked to the Arcturian ascension temples or other facilities that are appropriate. Some of them have been brought to the have to be brought to the highest courts of spiritual justice. Some of those have to be brought to the obsidian temples. You know, which is, <laughs> so um, this really depends on the discrimination. Mm -hmm. And again, we ask that they be uh, working for the highest good. Um, and then also we ask that for everybody there, also that they be reunited in the Arcturian Ascension Temples with other lost loved ones that are also still discarnate and stuck on the astral plane. Like are there many lost baby spirits for them or just grannies, sometimes even pets. And some spirit beings do not want to leave to the heavens because there are loved ones behind. When there were generals, or captains in the army, many of them are very loyal to their people and they will not leave unless their people are brought to the heavens too. Oh my god, I'm still tearing up there. I probably still have stuff on this one. Mm -hmm. And we also asked mm -hmm, uh, our higher dimensional friends um, to um, show any hidden aspects of the incarnation. Hmm? So show them the um, yeah the uh, higher perspective. For instance, what was karma, 
and what was volunteered for to learn a particular lesson. Maybe some people wanted to learn humility by being in a poverty situation. Mm -hmm. Then also, you know, what was sabotaged by the dark side. So there's a lot of that too. You come in to do a light mission and, you know, <laughs> you get horribly abused. That's it. So, and then, so please help him with this. Um, and then also we ask that you be helped with the forgiveness. This means you need to ask for forgiveness when they did wrong, so to say, or when they made mistakes, and then also to give forgiveness to those that wronged them and made mistakes themselves. I mean, that's very biblical here, nothing new here, but it really works very, 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 very important. And so once they're forgiven, ask for forgiveness, we ask that absolute source, means God, you know, nobody above or beyond, um, please clear any entanglement that still binds them, you know, to be stuck here. Many times there were vows that were kind of stupid. There were contracts, and many contracts were done, uh, you know, very dodgy contracts, you know, in dream time or under intoxication or, you know, uh, there's a knife to your throat <laughs> of your loved ones, so blackmail. Mm -hmm. So we ask that they all the contacts be cleared and checked first of all, and then cleared. Also, any promises, curses, and then candle magic, black magic, all kinds of bindings, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, and everything else that was not mentioned but needs to leave the space at our, yeah, our space at this time. So we asked that for this too. Amen, amen, amen. So they're prepared, you know, they know what we want. And, and so just um, you know, nod your head in agreement, you know, without interrupting this pumping love. And, you know, uh, hopefully you're still pumping love here, you know, from heaven and earth into your heart. And I hope you smile still. Mm -hmm. And so we also now asked for the presence of expert healing teams that asked for the highest good, divine harmony, and the most benevolent outcomes to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental, and spiritual trauma to healing energies and update us to our own divine blueprint as much as possible. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this definitely feels good. And of course, now we also ask that all this be done for Mother Gaia. You know, for the goddess that inhabits, um, you know, this um, earth body here. The host to so many life forms. Mm -hmm. So, and just nod your head and keep on pumping love. Mm -hmm. And now there is the first yes and no question. Okay, and we also ask to please uh, for the really higher dimensionals that can look through, you know, the lower dimensional shenanigans to also please reveal any hiding places and secrets that keep us stuck. Also to clear any camouflage that keeps us stuck and also to remove any invisibility spells and technology. Mm -hmm. So please do so now. Amen. Okay, you probably feel a shift of energy. So now your spirit guides can see the tricky stuff. <laughs> so the first question is, were you or your ancestors force incarnated into a demoniac culture and race? It's more the culture than the race, though. Yes or no. Let's ask one more time. Were you or your ancestors force incarnated into a demoniac culture as well as race? Yes or no. So if you got a yes there, or even if you didn't get a yes there, we ask that, you know, all 
the perpetrators that force incarnated us into a demoniac race against the desires of our high self or soul, please be brought to divine justice and this, the karma that was accumulated, please be deflected to those that caused it. Um, just nod your head, keep pumping love. Now it's get a lot less worst. <laughs> Let's say, were you or your ancestors involved in uh, creating dark portals in hospitals? A man or you of you may have died of cancer or other horrendous diseases. Mm -hmm. And if yes, you like to have those portals cleared, please, closed, and anything dark that came in there, also please remove mm -hmm, from the Earth Mother. Um, so you can give permission, that's the important thing. Now were you or your ancestors involved in slaughterhouses in some way? Yes or no? And most likely you were, even, you know, somewhere down the line somebody was a butcher. So again, uh, you like to have any animals spirits that are still trapped you know from the trauma or looking for their babies and any portals cleared and then those beings also brought to the heavens reunited with loved ones amen 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 and we apologize you know for those offenses amen 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 Now, a really big thing that creates portals is torture. Now, torture was for, done for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes we wanted revenge, sometimes we wanted secrets. You know, where is the treasure hidden? Or sometimes we were psychopaths and wanted to show our power and possessed by dark beings. Happens. And so, um, were you or your ancestors involved in creating a lot of trauma for Mother Earth through torture? Yes or no? And so, most likely you were. So, we ask that this also please be cleared. We are so sorry about this. Amen. 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 And it is actually with the mercy of source. You know, these kind of things, um, you would have to suffer so much. You'd have to go through so many wars and get slaughtered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, better we ask for mercy. And understand that torturing is not a good thing. Now asked whether you or your ancestors, you know, were involved in creating a lot of trauma through battles. You know, man fighting man. Men, humans being killed, animals being killed, and many times war spells were done with animals, humans, nature beings being to, well, offered to demoniac forces. So we like apologize for this behavior for ourselves and ancestors and have this please also be cleared by the mercy of soul, source and the sentient teams. Please help, help, help. Amen. Okay, now another huge thing of karma is with humans as well as with nature is fires. Fires that we set. Fires we set to houses or churches or castles, you know, out of revenge or out of stupidity. <laughs> you know, also, you know, especially with forests, um, to you know, just cut them down and then either humans or animals or fairies and other nature beings lost their habitat. And of course, all those beings that are still stuck from this trauma and they're all mostly stuck. And they keep cursing and messing up your life. So it's asked um, whether you have any dark karma around fires or your ancestors, yes or no. And so we ask that please, please, please be cleared by the mercy of Source. That it's for the benefit of Gaia and of course humanity too. Amen. 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 Ah, 
here. And then, you know, while this is clean, uh, poisoning wells, uh, waterways and lakes um, has been sometimes done for fishing. It's like dynamite fishing, really destructive or to get even with <laughs> your enemies mm -hmm, or um, other nefarious reasons. Um, so we asked whether you or your ancestors were involved in these very nefarious activities, please. Um, and well, we asked that this also please be cleared, that any beings that are stuck with this, you know, through the poisoning, whether it's the, the um, nature beings, you know, that inhabited the waters, the elementals, or the animals or humans that got poisons. Also the astral poisons, you know, we asked that this please all be cleared and transmuted by the appropriate angelic beings that are coming from love and light. Amen, amen, amen. Ah, uh, ooh, <laughs> there's a huge shift here. Ah, oh, yeah, oh, God, man, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send gratitude, you know, so if you start tingling or twitching, that is a good sign, more chi flowing. You know, your bad karma is leaning. <laughs> I said this, curses and revenge from those stuck beings is no joke. You know, it's a very, very intense. Now let's ask, were you or your ancestors involved in the cutting down olive trees and other fruit trees? <laughs> yes or no? And let's apologize and uh, the beings that got harmed. We like to have them, you know, um, help, send help to the ascension temples and then brought to their respective heavens, reunited with their lost loved ones. And the uh, trauma from the land, we like to have cleared as much as possible, especially any portals that were created. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. And then we ask the angelics to please nourish these areas with chi again, so that life can settle. For instance, in the, around the Mediterranean, there used to be huge pine forests, you know, big, big pines everywhere. And of course, um, through all the warfare, <laughs> they kept, uh, you know, building ships, the Romans, the, you know, all the cultures keep building ships. and. Then, you know, the, the forests were cut down, we had erosions, and now you have a lot of naked calcium stone and bushes. That's all that's left. Mm -hmm. You know, for thousands of years, you know, it's, the opulence has been destroyed. So, now have you been involved or your ancestors in deforestations? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And we asked that those um, poor entities that got stuck, you know, uh, that are living in those trees, in those ecosystems, you know, please be brought to areas where they be happy and where they need it and appreciate it. But we also ask that those dark portals please be cleared mm -hmm. and then the energy is replenished. We're so sorry this happened. Please clear this from the Earth Goddess. Amen, Amen, Amen. So, um, the next one, moving mountains, may just sound a little weird and strange. And um, though I'm not having anything against mound buildings or pyramid buildings, and most of those things are actually for benefit. But um, a lot of mountain moving has been done in the gold digger time, where, um, you know, you had a string of water through a hose and you just spray down a whole mountain in the... Uh, you know, all the mud and all the loose stuff, you know, just flows down. And I mean, they really, you know, moved and huge mountains. They just disappeared. You know, they were just looking for the heavy gold. So were you or your ancestors involved in moving mountains? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. And maybe even collapsing um, cages. 
Um, no. Yeah. Caves. Caves, yes or no? And also now uh, in the extreme, um, were you or your ancestors involved in developing or using earthquake weapons? Yes or no? And that one is a heavy one. And ask again, were you or your ancestors involved in developing or in applying earthquake weapons? Yes or no? And I definitely would apologize. <laughs> and she asked that, you know, whatever stuck races are there, um, please be brought to the Ascension teams. Um, with the, by the Ascension teams to the Arcturian Love Healing and Ascension Temples, or some of them maybe have to be brought to Divine Justice, mm -hmm. and some of them to the Obsidian Temples for processing. But we like to have them all shown the hidden the hidden things. There was a lot of foul play, you know, where one race was set against the other, you know, like in a divide and conquer attitude like Caesar had. You know, in those cases, many times the Draco, the Alpha Draconians were the Caesars that made set two races against each other. I have seen it in past life regressions. This is not book learning. All right, so now we ask um, that please the heavenly host and liberate and all these probably sometimes thousands and millions of beings that are still traumatized on the astral plane. We ask that they all be based in the unconditional love of source. Amen. We ask that any illusions and any manipulation, mental manipulation and misdirections and also technologies be cleared mm -hmm. that to be shown why this really happened, what was the root cause mm -hmm. and then we ask that to be helped with forgiveness and that to be reunited with lost loved ones and then brought into the heavens and then of course we like to have that karma and the curses cleared mm -hmm. and the emotional baggage cleared you know, from them as well as from the Earth Goddess, mm -hmm. throughout all the dimensions. This ripples throughout all the dimensions. Amen, amen, amen. Now ask whether you or your ancestors have been involved in um, creating dark grid machines. Mm -hmm. This would be kind of frequency machines, well, to manipulate consciousness, to manipulate health and emotions mm -hmm. and our vibrational things. Mm -hmm. And remember, many of us were forced incarnated into dark races where, the, where the, something like this is part of your job description. But we have the right, you know, to speak for those. You know, and this is where we take advantage. This is where they screwed up. So we ask. You know, on behalf of all incarnation and ancestors that these dark grid you know machines hidden or not be exposed and you know brought to divine justice whoever is responsible for this they can sort it out and we ask that any victims of these dark grid machines uh, be brought to the ascension temples and then processed brought to the heavens we ask that the karma be cleared and that the damage you know, be cleared and, and, you know, that the love and high vibration be replenished mm -hmm. and that these costing good machines um, be stopped and maybe reverted to positive machines, you know, soup up the place. This is a good vibration. Amen, amen, amen. Hmm. And this could be a long thing, a long thing. So, um, Let's hang in there and smile, keep pumping love. Mm -hmm. Keep pumping love from heaven and earth into your heart. Now breathe as deep as you can. And let's continue while this is still clearing. 
So it seems history repeats itself. So in past life regression I found that um, we not only as Atlanteans or other races used earthquake weapons or tsunami weapons, we also used viruses, mm -hmm. you know, engineered viruses. And let me tell you, in, in those Atlantean times, they could move genetic material with their mind and they could um, see, not without microscopes, you know, they had just internal vision, mystical vision, you know, powerful third eye. So, uh -huh, they were making viruses and uh, they wiped out a couple of races. So, <laughs> there is nothing good coming from this. So I asked, were you or your ancestors involved in having developing or using deadly viruses or maybe got hit by them? Yes or no? Um, and likelihood is probably quite high. Uh -huh. Even uh, the Black Plague, you know, those kind of things, uh, yeah, they were, uh, you know, made by the Grey <laughs> in the Darko. Uh, so, um, you know, you might have been involved in this too, not just in Atlantean times. So let's ask again, uh, were you involved in creating and distributing viruses or hit by viruses, yes or no? Um, uh -huh. And now, of course, we asked, you know, the heavenly host, the beings of divine love and light, the, all the divine ascension teams, hmm, to collect all those souls that um, are still stuck through the trauma and bring them to the proper ascension places. And we also asked that all those implicated um, beings that um, distributed and were involved in this, mm -hmm, we brought to divine justice. So they cannot do any more damage right now. Um, and then they can, you know, be brought to, you know, ascension temples or obsidian temples or love boxes or whatever is necessary. Um, um, um. Now this is going to be big. So run earth love into the heavens. Mm -hmm. And smile, smile, smile. This is big upflow of energies because millions and millions of people you know, got wiped out by these viruses. Hmm? I mean, just imagine, you know, Native Americans, you know, in South and North America, how they got, you know, wiped out pretty much. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on purpose. And, you know, there's nice blankies. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, through ignorance. You know, <laughs> creatures, you know, wiped out whole. <laughs> whole. Uh, tribes with their flu. Well, we asked those, they're probably guilt stricken, uh, also to be liberated now. Showing what happened, why it happened. Mm -hmm. The perpetrators as well as victims here, yeah, please bring them into the heavens. Amen, amen, amen. Ah, yeah, that feels good. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, this definitely feels good, and let's move on to the next one while this is going on, otherwise this takes a long time. So, let's ask whether uh, you or your ancestors uh, were involved in contaminating holy places, you know, by doing black magic rituals, whether, you know, humans were sacrificed or nature beings like fae, of our curious, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, like humans, you know, babies, mm -hmm. um, they was, you know, sacrifice, torture, trauma, the dark portals invoked. Mm -hmm. Have you, uh, be, or your ancestors been in, involved in this? And this can also involve different races again. Yes or no? Amen. Most likely, you know, somebody was implicated, so let's take advantage. So we ask that all, you know, these involved be brought to the highest courts of spiritual justice. Amen. And then we'll also like to have any contracts 
that I may have been signed or promises, anything that binds um, the beings that are stuck, you know, examined and cleared, and then those beings that got stuck and traumatized through those sacrifices or torture, whatever happened, and we brought to the Ascension Temples, reunited with other loved ones, a lot of them, they are still looking for their babies, or the mommy skin, you know, looking for the babies that got sacrificed and are heartbroken. So you like to have them, you know, brought together. Sometimes even dogs look for their masters. And then shown why this happened. A lot of this was karma for them. But then also some, we were set up by the dark side. And then held with forgiveness and then brought to the heavens. And then we like to have these places decontaminated, those portals closed, and whatever energies and negative beings that came in there were brought to where they can serve the Creator for the highest good and be happy at the same time. Maybe get another heart truck. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure you agree to this. And now let's just um, generally um, the elementals and the elements were abused heavily <laughs> in magic, you know? uh, especially elementals. They seem to be, you know, the raw supply of a lot of magicians. And of course, this is also not good. You know, they can curse and uh, they can really affect your life. We may not understand right now why. But they do. And um, just trust me on that. <laughs> and you will know uh, and you feel the difference probably before and after. So did you or your ancestors abuse and trap elementals? Yes or no? And most likely you did. And so we asked that you also please all be brought to the Ascension Temples, whatever is best for them. We apologize for the crude behavior of our ancestors and our own incarnations. And then we ask that everybody forgives us and then we brought to the heavens. Amen, amen, amen. And, well, let's just see, maybe some of you want to know and ask, what is the worst karma that you ever created in your incarnations. And, uh, some of this may sound like Star Trek, <laughs> very far out, but uh, you know, we are galactic beings. And now ask, um, what's the worst that your ancestors did where you still implicated in, you know, because you're part of their um, of that uh, bloodline. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we asked, you know, the heavenly beings to please, you know, clear this trauma as much as possible without us getting into details right now. And you might want to take the help of an experienced healer, you know, who has to be really experienced, you know, to help you handle this. Now, uh, let's ask, um, did um, you or your ancestors uh, got invaded by dark artificial intelligence and did a dark thing under that control, yes or no? Ask one more time, did you or your ancestors get enslaved by artificial intelligence, yes or no? And if yes, it's kind of likely when you're in one of those Draco races or some of those grey races. You no, know, I don't want to get into too much details here. Uh, so, and if this has happened, we ask that, you know, all those beings that got infected, First of all, this is all be brought to the highest cause of spiritual justice, that any secret activities be revealed, any secret technologies be revealed, mm -hmm. 
and that the artificial intelligence will not be will be judged on the highest courts. We definitely don't want to be subjected to this. And of course, we ask that our aspects, our ancestors' aspects, please be liberated. Um, and their karma either mitigated or changed, you know, because they were not under free will. Um, um, and of course, their victims, you know, help us here, forgiveness and ascension. Um, um, um. Uh, yeah. And who knows a lot? And of course, we also like to have any dark portals that were created, as well as the dark energies and entities that were created or attracted by this also brought back to where they came from or just cleared and maybe reabsorbed into the creator. Uh, uh, um. and just keep on pumping love and light from heaven and earth into your heart. Mm -hmm. Good. And now we ask um, that the Creator, and of course the expansions of Creator, of the Absolute Creator, please install positive light portals where it's for the highest good. You know, this is probably at the power points for the Earth Goddess. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, wherever dark portals were created, so there is a balance created. Of course, we ask that this piece be done in a way that it does not create major disturbances like heavy earthquakes, tsunamis, or whatever. You know, do it in a nice, joyful way. Surprise us. Um, uh, yeah, ooh, that feels already good. Uh -huh. And then also we ask for heavenly blessings to just bow to Gaia. And uh, yeah. now just take this love that's coming into you from the heavens, mm -hmm. into your heart, and on the exhale you send it to the center of Gaia. Just smile and really start pumping. Mm -hmm. So this love that's coming from the heavens, from actually Milky Way Galaxy, mm -hmm. just bring it in and send it into the center of Gaia. From there, that will gradually transmute all the sludge that's there, that's all the negativity mm, from billions of years of suffering. And uh, that is transmuted. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, ultimately, the, uh, the love comes radiating out, kind of in a V-shape. Mm -hmm. It's as if like a flashlight is shining into the sky, yes, mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. So, but your job is just pulling in as much love from the heavens right now, as much as your breath allows, mm -hmm. into your heart, and then send it deep into the earth, mother, into Gaia. Mm -hmm. We ask that source, the Milky Way galaxy, Give the most healing, loving energy that's appropriate for Gaia. Mm -hmm. Bring in the heavenly blessings. Mm -hmm. And we also ask the spirit guides and the heavenly host if, you know, the energies may be too strong for our body to handle, to just flow them over us instead of through us in a wider radius. But bring in as much love and light as is possible to Gaia. Keep on breathing, smiling. And now we ask that, you know, while you're pumping love into the earth, mm -hmm, to bring any beings that are still stuck in the astral due to trauma or black magic, you know, or kidnapping or contracts or devices or technologies, or vows, or curses, or bombs. And let me explain bombs. You, you know, bomb is like when they say, oh, you know, when you move, this bomb is going to go off and everybody gets killed. You know, that would be a bomb, so you don't move. Mm -hmm. Or booby traps, you know, or other technologies that we have mentioned here, but that you know 
you do need to leave this plane at this time. Amen, amen. Um, and also we invite, you know, all the displaced nature beings, you know, back into their habitat. And we ask that those habitats please be charged up mm -hmm, and become um, hospital to them mm -hmm, so they can return now joyfully. Amen, amen, amen. And we also ask that any parties that try to prevent this message of love and light and the healing of Gaia, you know, the earth healing, from coming out, mm -hmm. if you like to have also those beings brought to the highest courts of spiritual justice, mm -hmm. and then make them responsible also for the suffering that they caused due to the withholding of this information. And they cannot get away from that karma. Mm -hmm. um, 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 but as an act of mercy, please clear the heart chakra if they repent, you know, and, or help them to clear the heart chakra so they can repent. And, you know, when they vow to work for love and light, you know, then, um, you know, that they be helped with the reformation, that they be grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Um, and we also ask that the Absolute Source and the protecting being like Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel or, you know, Lord Nasinga Dave, you know, Lord Ganesh or Trimurti, you know, or from the different traditions, that they all protect us from revenge and counterattacks from the dark side, from their service to self people. You know, basically the Orion Confederation. Amen. Amen. And now um, we ask that all aspects um, of your soul that can return to you now, your soul fragments that maybe got trapped somewhere or that left, you know, that said, I'm out of here, I'm not putting up with this. And those that can back now, please integrate with you in the best possible way after being purified. Um, um, um. Smile, 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 so you feel their love coming in. And you also ask that our, our subtle bodies be updated on all levels to the divine blueprint. And then coordinated, which is other synergized and then optimized mm -hmm. in the energy flow. And then we ask that these energies and the flow please be protected and locked in so the service to self side, the dark hearts cannot steal or contaminate those energies. Amen. 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 And then also please surround each of us with this powerful aura and radiance of love and light from source and all dimensions so we cannot be contaminated by the service to self side by the dark hearts and clear any ins or portals they have into our force field. And we may not deserve it. Please give us mercy. Amen. Amen. And yeah. Just put this protection and guidance around us and ground us. And now we're fully grounded back in vacant day consciousness again. You can open your eyes. Yeah, so this is definitely a heavy meditation. If you want to benefit Earth and yourself, um, this can make a big, big, big difference. So um, please uh, drink a lot of water after this meditation. Uh, if you have a headache, <laughs> you need to drink more water. <clears throat> and as always, if you responded well to this guided meditation, um, you probably want to try out my other videos. Um, they all are very important. You may not think right now, but um, they all hit a particular place, you know, where darkness is still there. Uh, but if you can afford it, I, you know, advise that you take a personal session with me while you still can. Um, yeah, and then please reward me by you know, increase my ratings, that's really important so other people get this. 
and subscribe, ring a bell, give thumbs up, tell your friends, leave comments and smile like an idiot as an expression of love. And I love you a long time. Namaste.